Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't you start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She guess she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. Then she went shopping. Yeah, she looked great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! No, no, Hassan. You should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, uh, um... We don't... know you? No, you don't. I'm Saeko. All right, so is Saeko your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe four eyes over there can figure it out? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Four eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does I'm not for sale if that's what you're asking I'm a bartender at a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned actually jeez he owned a cabaret club and a soap land yeah he may not have looked it but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district now that he's gone I guess both my club and Orohime land are probably gonna shut down was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at, you know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> what, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. 
but I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoa-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be... Pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? You have your employees doing that? Basically, the home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho, I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys anyway? They're like... Uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, oh, hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Hey, hey, what what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come to tell you! Loma! That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. 
Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. And they might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Lao Ma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Well, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh, yeah, he takes care of them. What the hell? Mm hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. <sighs> He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep. And milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it, too. But don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <clears throat> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. <sighs> but after she died, I just wanted out. Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did, not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? All my life, I felt pretty alone, but I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself, because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me, even Nonomiya. <sighs> Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but... If you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. It's so frustrating, because it's like... Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, grass old man. But at the same time... Before Nonomiya died... He told me about how you three risked so much to help my sister and my dad. 
And I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Well, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of? My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that settles it. Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Sup? Yeah. Hey. Trying to check to see if there's anything uh, down this corridor. Oh. Can't seem to get through those, huh? Hey, you guys want to hear a scary story? Where'd that come from? Sure, whatever. I was at a laundromat a little while back, and as anyone would, I put my clothes in the dryer. When there was about five or so minutes left, my cell rang, and I went outside to talk. And? For ten minutes, I hung up and went back inside. 
<gasps> the dryer was still going. And the time left? 30 minutes. Whoa, that is freaky. Did you extend the time or something? <laughs> of course not. Why would I do that? Yeah, no good dryer shrank my favorite shirt because of that. The thing got all tight. Still wore it, though. You still wore it? Didn't think this story could get scarier, but... <laughs> Trying to get some brownie points here. There you are. What? That was quick and easy, I guess. With finesse. Wait, twenty five thousand? Well, hey now. Missing girlfriend. Okay. All right, seems easy enough. Just gonna auto this. Have fun with this. I got this. Next time. Oh, I missed it. Ay, ay, ay. Missed the conversation. Huh. I can't change. Or maybe there is something else I can do. be a way for me to yeah change job Gotta interact with this taxi just to get a spot here. Save that real quick. Alright. Anybody here? Hey! You need something? Okay. Uh, I heard you could fix bats. Do you, uh, work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, 
This what you want fixed? This bat? Looks to me like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty, too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the Hero series? Huh? What the hell's that? <laughs> it's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Please let me fix it. Just this once. I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah. Fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. Great. I'll get to work right away. <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! Whoa. Almost there. Ugh. That's what I'm talking about. Phew. That's some energy you got. I used to be a bit of a <laughs> punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Whoa, look at that all shiny. Oh, that thing looks like it's brand new. <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it, this place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you haven't been getting much business. Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. People don't really get things fixed anymore. And as much as my dad tried to keep this place going, he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take, and as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad, who opened this place, was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. But look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can. And maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, alright? <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. Alright, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else. I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumi Rachan. Alright, you can craft enhanced weapon, okay. Romance workshop, okay, scam. Strip material and invest in workshop and new now large crap wide variety of gear and be sure to take advantage of workshop and improve your arsenal. Okay, sounds good. Nice, can she get back in the team now? Got it.
weak. Going in. Gotcha. Let's go. Whoa, what was that? What kind of skill was that? This. Have fun with this. To this taxi yet. Are you all right? Is there anything we can do to... Huh? What the... Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> what the... <laughs> uh... Oh, man. You're the fuckers with the baby formula. Oh. Oh, sorry to bother you boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. Not so fast, chief. You got balls stepping into my thing. You can waltz in. Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Bring it on. <laughs> okay. Take your best shot. Yeah, now look, get serious. Don't get cocky. Huh? Come on, now. fight. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Watch this. What was that earlier? Heavy behind Britain top? Not bundle up together, that's a thing, they're kind of spread apart. for barging in here but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding uh, I'm listening hmm. well actually I get it you thought my crying was from a real baby yes we're really sorry for ruining your uh, fun no no I wasn't aware I'm the one who's sorry huh Days a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. 
Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no. I step out of the house for a quick errand and I'm gone for an eternity. My oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady, that's... Mm, no, she's just been a little... I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child. But all she does... Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? What? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures. Very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Uh-huh. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp. So we need a little backpack. <laughs> All sorts of shit like wow. That. Now that you mention it, she is... When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night. We'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> what is going on, man? It's Your wife whack. probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh. Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a Some, uh, life dog. lessons here. <laughs> yeah. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's gotta support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then, why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No need to be shy. Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh man. Ah, it's getting weirder and weirder. Work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, yes, sir. Now, let's say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper. Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. Yes, sir. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh. hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a... Hey, what the hell, man? Let me go. Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh. <laughs> selection oh nice palmates Whoa. 
cube work, huh? Is this building? Oh, this is the place. The Rose Blossom. What is this one? Just walk there then.
Might not be able to survive this. I lose half. Oh, I forgot to save earlier. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> yeah. Oh well. Ni hao, welcome. Ni hao, welcome. Ni hao, welcome. Whoa, <laughs> pretty nice way to be greeted. Unbelievable. Every single girl is sexy as hell. I, 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 I had no idea a place like this was on Restaurant Row. Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. 
She claims she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah, you seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with them right now? Get it out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sachan! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! <laughs> well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Come for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning. Are you really this stupid? They ain't just. I know you're. I, I must skip Not this. Uh... So you want to go? No, they'll have my head. I'll have your head on. What? A... If you don't start talking, I'll. I wonder what he'll do. You think you uh, can? That's a great way of put. Shit, it, it's a. Yeah, I skip, skip this conversation, on, brothers. These guys think. Oh no, I don't have enough health. I'll get it, so hot. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, let's see, store some hell. Uh, oh man, I have no health left. Oh boy. guys out. Can she heal? Nope. Finesse. Defense. Renewing her image. Uh, Racer attacked by applying rather aggressive. Let's try this. Oh, 
there's only two left. Okay. Uh, maybe I take her, him out. Um, I can guard. Let's get rid of the other guy. Nice. Oh, sweet. Oh, man. All right. Heal, heal. Healing powder. It's to, to heal ally, right? Heal him. She got some. Oh yeah! You're in it now. Come on! Sit down. Oh, that was good. You're gonna get stuck. Oh my! You're fucking weak. Oh, what's that? Fear. Alright. You wanna go? Try to try that. Try this on your side. Oh. Man. You're fucking weak. What? Oh man, it's like like it's fear stuff. Don't get caught. All right. Uh, let's do. You're gonna be in a world Let's go. Low defense, or let's just do this real quick. Yeah. And then. die just yet like i said i have some questions for you fuck you do you think i tell you anything so you want me to rat you out to your leader then wait if i tell you will you promise not to tell them absolutely could have fooled me there's no reason for me to believe you won't rat so now you're not telling me fine it's ratten time fucker hey bring the manager in here I want to tell him how the Honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the soap land? Why would Mabuchi-san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu planned turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? 
I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah, -uh. I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But, but you're Liu Mang. The Yokohama Liu Mang was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then, everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and zhe zhe. Hello and thank you. Well, you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart. So he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. <sighs> wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <sighs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Guess you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san. But I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month, and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey, guys! What if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Zhang said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. 
And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuman guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. Thanks for not being a prick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? <laughs> uh. Hey. Yo. Huh. Wrong Got it. Street. Uh Okay, so restaurant row. Street. Forgot where that was. I guess gotta go up this way. Yeah. Oh, it's a dead end. Never mind. Romance Street. Oh, down here. Uh. Wait, do I have access to taxi? Who is this? Slugger? What is a slugger? I'm not backing down. 
Myself a taxi here. Should I open it? Got it. Okay. Uh I mean, do I have to avoid them? Can I fight through? This doll. Now it's probably inspired by Mexico. It is a taco place, after all. I love a good taco. Just thinking about it makes me want to stuff myself. For real? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're good, but aren't they too rich to eat a whole bunch? I get it as like an appetizer or something. I uh think you might be confusing Mexican tacos with octopus. <laughs> I think we're safe now. <sighs> Time to head on back for the evening. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home, Adachi san. This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Uh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. Wait, is this...? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. 
didn't even know there were places like this in Ijinchu. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... <laughs> well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. Delivery or take down quest for part time. garbage piles up. It attracts all the crows. Ah, uh, don't hate the crows. They're just trying to get by, you know? In fact, crows are pretty smart. They've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched. Huh, interesting. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a soft spot for them. Well, what can I say? We're birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash. <laughs> Guess everyone has a flock. Crunchy, it's killing me. Two more is probably the same dude. healing just try and put something on her Yeah. 
dexterity. I wonder what's dexterity would be good for. Might be him, huh? Oh, electricity. No? Is it? Healing. Agility. Here we go. Never noticed this thing here. Should I open it? Got it. Okay. Got it. Oh, okay. Wait, you missed a job too because I need to find out at Hello Work. Oh, is this it? This is where I can uh, reassign the uh, job skills. Special attack skills required. Okay, so training in various jobs will improve. Okay. I know. You're the director's favorite formerly homeless go-getter, aren't you? Am I right in assuming that you're here to find work again now that Otohime land is shut down? Y yeah, uh, so what should we do now? Since this is the first time you'll be using our services without going through the director, let me explain. Yeah, and thanks a bunch. Okay, take a look then. Job and hello, each can suit different job, make <laughs> sure. Okay. Oh, I gotta level it up, okay. We'll cause them to wear uniforms from that job. Freely select from the uniform. 
that about covers it. I'll be able to place you in more jobs once everyone starts gaining experience. Your options are a bit limited right now, but you'll find many more jobs are available once you've made some progress. Uh, I gotcha. Anyway, here's what I have at the moment. Of course, you're responsible for any adjustments you must make when you change jobs. Alright, let's try this. Bodyguard Breaker. Huh. Should I? But Hero seems to be like the thing for him, isn't it? Alright, let's not do anything with that. Number. Unique requirement level 20 plus bond level 3. Aww. Alright. I really want him to be the fortune teller. Um, man. Okay, level 20 plus. That'll take a while. Uh, bond level 3. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, oh, I can get her to be a... Uh, okay. Idol. Hmm. Maybe this would be better choice, right? Idol. Hostess or idol? Brings the enemies its knees, thanks to Venge Clutch back. Uh, give it learning special hold to skill. Completely wrap around one finger. Let's dance. Uh, bullet resistance, ice resistance. Man, lots of healing, huh? That might be quite useful. this special custom comes from costume why not all right try out the enforcer I'm gonna try out the enforcer for now Since we already have a healer, wait, how could he be musician? Uh, 
I'll let him be a musician for now. Special costume hero. Why not? Fun. Um. Let's go with this and yep everybody got a new costume looking good roger that so this is how we change jobs yes just talk to me when you want to try out something new there's no limit to the number of times you can switch and you can always resume your previous job too you may even want to try a bunch out to see which one feels right for you Nice. I definitely didn't think it'd be this easy to switch jobs. Well, that's in part due to how I'm only able to offer you easy jobs right now. And because I'm the one handling all the paperwork. Just keep that in mind. Uh, sure. I'll remember that. And that'll do it, I think. Now, as for that part-time job at the Yokohama Trading Company, which you and the director spoke about, they called us to say you were hired. No, really? Yes. They'd like to start you straight away. But right now, even. The warehouse you'll be working in is north of Hamakita Park. It's not exactly walkable, so I'd recommend taking the train. Got it. Thanks, Ririka-chan. We'll be back when we need to change jobs. Looking forward to it. Ririka-chan? I'm glad you're so excited. Please come by any time. Wait, I thought I changed job already. Maybe I forgot to click save. No, I mean, not this kind of save, but you know. Let's try it out with these uh, thugs out here. Cool. 
Ah, they don't look like that the whole time. It's kind of a shame. South of uh, Sakura River Street. Okay, maybe I'll do that now. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's probably somewhere over here, huh? Okay. I can take... Ah, uh, let's take this. Is it? Uh, oops. These guys look tougher. Is this the one? Hmm? What? Oh, 
it's a crawfish. But what's it doing crawfish? Out here? Hey, you love them the crawfish. River? Wouldn't want you getting squ Bon voyage, little buddy. Oh, my sweet Nancy. <laughs> huh? Oh, my crap. Don't tell me. That crop? Yep. Raised her with my own two hands, I did. Normally, we stroll over that sweet little gal was my only baby. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. If I knew she was important to you, I knew. I understand. You did well. I don't see her any, but don't. Hold on there, old timer. I'll go find Nancy and bring her back. Well, I can give it to you. Thanks. If you do. Of course. One thing I should tell you is Nancy has an X-shaped scar on her back. That help? An X-shape on her. Hopefully she hasn't gone far. If I'm lucky. <laughs> Item box, item box. Oh, yeah, I need to take them all just in case. Actually, I'll put one back just in case I go pick up some. Two. <laughs> we need to come down here, isn't it? That's kind of nice.
ありがとうな<笑> yeah. Who's this? <laughs> uh Oh man, I forgot. Uh maybe a second guy. Hey. Something I could do about this now. Oh. Hey. Hey. <sighs> wow. Oh. I know. Hmm? <sighs> sure thing. Arigato gozaimas. See if this works. Sup?
No. <laughs> wow, okay. What does it look like with four people? thought about getting rid of all this trash yeah but it's not just trash it's memories of my wife memories uh, I used to run this place with my wife we didn't make much but life was good right I heard this place used to be legit then one day my wife collapsed while tending uh, this and the worst part is that I was off goofing if I had just been at the shop that I tried to keep the... What if she appraised this? Thinking about it that way, I started... But from then on, I feared I might... Next thing you know, mm. I knew I was being... I can't... <laughs> yeah, I get how you feel. But what about all that your wife... Get all sentimental. I didn't even notice this. All I saw was of the place you two... If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself. Oh, go me, son. I think... <gasps> <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for... I want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Kasuga-san, thank you very I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Thanks. And if you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna take off. Yeah, take care. Give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. Maybe it's that, uh, urinating one again. Let me see. Well, not the flute guy, huh? Go. Uh? <laughs> uh, 
けんな<laughs> no. It's making rainbow and everything. Come along quietly. Well done, Kasuga-san. I try. But why are you so dead set on urinating? Haven't you ever wondered what it's like to drizzle into nature's sweet embrace? <laughs> You get me, right? Nope, not at all. All right, weirdo. Let's hear the rest at the station. Damn! Looks like my luck. Thanks for being so cooperative. Here's a little something for helping out our investigation. You see any other suspicious individuals, you contact me immediately. Got it? And you, get a move on. Whew, well, that's over. Mm. To be honest, I kind of have to take a leak, too. No, better just find a restaurant. <laughs> that was, uh, yes, a golden opportunity, definitely.